Hello again. It's Nula, back again. Drawing today? Well, I drew a while ago. I'm lazy, yeah. This has taken me a while to get this video together. I'm sorry. However, um, I did have a lot of fun doing it. This deck that you see in front of you will, shortly and swiftly, become a deck of many things. Now, the deck of many things is uh, like an add-on, I believe. Uh, like set of cards, like a tarot almost, um, for uh, a D&D campaign. Uh, the cards contain uh, 22 specific ones. So uh, along here, reading down the list, so uh, it's Jester. Fool, Balance, Rogue, Ur Uriel, 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 I think I'm saying that right, Ruin, Donjon, or Dungeon, Idiot, Skull, Flames, The Void, Talons, Gem, Knight, Key, Throne, The Fates, which was my favourite one. Uh, <laughs> Comet, Star, Moon, Sun, and Vizier. So, uh, as you saw before, how I'm how I'm sort of laying these out. Uh, I wrote at the bottom of the card the title of whichever one I was doing. Uh, I did it out in pencil, and then I went over, did a few sketches, had a few ideas, um, jotted those in uh, in pencil as well. Uh, roughed in an outline uh, with a ruler. Then I have uh, these Unipin fine points uh, which I was using. I was using uh, a 0 0.3 mostly for the thicker lines, the, the smaller writing and the, the littler details. Uh, I was using a 0 0.05 nib, so a very, very fine point. Um, but yeah, this this took me in hours, probably about ten hours to do all of them, just over the course of like a few weeks. Um, I, it was one of those things where I sort of sat at it when I could, but I, I really enjoyed having the freedom just to come up with like my own ideas for each of these. It was really difficult because of the size of the card. Like they they weren't very big. They were probably like. 10 centimeters by something like six centimeters I, mean, I i don't know i was making those, those figures up but when you see like the finished product i i really like to know which one was your favorite um i'll put a still up at the end like of of just all of them on on the screen um but yeah uh it was kind of fun to do some silly ideas as well um just become an absolute meme lord and something I wouldn't normally do is like try and fit a brief I just sort of squiggle until I was happy but uh, with these it was it, it was hard to fit it at some stages because I really didn't know what to do for some of these but um, yeah they it worked out okay, I think, anyway. I I'm f happy with the finished product. Um, if you can't tell already, I'm, I find it really hard to commentate on these videos because, I mean, I have to talk for 11, nearly 12 minutes about nothing. It It's, it's hard. So if anybody has any tips for commentary, that would really help just just leave them in in the comment section or whatever you want to do up to you but this is literally the hardest part of the video is just commentating but the the editing process for this one was quite hard too not gonna lie because each of these i think in total uh, just going down the list here, I had 56 different clips 
to like mash together for this one. And it, there's 20, 22 cards, so it took a while. But I think I did okay. I, I really want to show off like the process of each of these because if you guys wanted to create your own deck of many things because the deck itself it, it's a little expensive but the cards are good quality you get what you pay for but the freedom you get from actually making your own deck i think is pretty cool too it's, it's proper personalized and you could also like customize it to your specific campaign that you're doing too so the it really does it's based a lot on what you want out of the deck of many things as well and what sort of vibe you want to get from each of the cards but we we haven't used the cards yet i think we've we've only had one session uh since i finished them so um I'm hoping we get to use them soon. I'll see how the DM plays it out, but I'm pretty sure it will be fun either way. Um, one of the cards I actually used a Sharpie Magnum, which is this fat pen. Like it, I think it's an inch in width of the nib. It's it's a chisel tipped uh, Sharpie, and it's completely it's just a beast of a pen is great but one of the cards i used it for uh was void because i just could not think of anything to draw for the void i mean why is the void the void is nothing so they just blacked out the card um it was really frustrating though on some of these cards because the pen um you'd have to wait for the ink to dry fully before actually putting like you didn't want to touch it because it would smudge the ink on the pen the cards are quite waxy so it was difficult for the ink to actually stick to the surface of it but i don't think i did too badly a few of them did smudge but i i did go in and around on some of them i have these uh posca chalk markers um so they lay down quite well on any surface really that they're, they're they're a water-based thing i think as well the the bits where that i like i did smudge and it looked a bit rough around the edges it didn't look exactly how i wanted it to i could go in with a a marker like this and sort of tidy up where i wanted to tidy up um actually towards the end of uh, completing the deck of this one of my um i think my 0.5 nibbed pen uh, i think it almost dried out so yeah it, it took a lot to do this but i'm i'm well chuffed with the result the the end the end product was worth all the time so it's a hard competition for my favorite for this deck but the the ones that i got a little bit silly on uh one you've probably already seen was ruin uh i literally just made an incomplete square on one edge and i just put an f in the middle because why not <laughs> um the second one that I really went to town on was probably Fool, which you saw uh, prob one of the starting cards, one of the first ones in the video. Um, I just drew Mr. T because that's the first thing that came to my head when I thought Fool. Uh, and the third, which is probably going to be a lot of you, you guys' favourites, um, you'll probably like this one the most. Um, I'm just gonna say moon. You'll see it in a second. Um, yeah. He he's a good boy. Moon. Moon. Um, yeah. Uh, also, I think another one that I was quite proud of was star. Star. Um, 
I, I tried to draw all of these just in sketched in in pencil freehand and uh, it didn't turn out too badly um yeah i was really chuffed with it actually so yeah, that was the one though that did smudge a lot where and i did have to go in um and tidy it up a little bit um but other than that most of them they came out pretty clean but yeah next time if i did do a, another deck i would probably uh find a different uh, material of card or maybe laminate them um, just to protect them because I think they might smudge a, a tiny bit in use over time uh, so maybe something like like the chalk markers that uh, stick well to most surfaces I, I'd probably use something like that but for for the edges around the sides uh, I just went in at the end with a sharpie so yeah just blocked in around the edges just just to make them all uniform and just to make it a little easier to not see what card you have not cheat obviously so yeah let me know which one's your favorite and subscribe if you want to hear me rambling on about art and my little creativities till the next time See you later.